discussing relevance. So the first thing we need to talk about is characteristics of relevance, and there are two. For something to be relevant when we're talking about a decision we're trying to make, one characteristic is it must occur in the future. And the second is it must differ among alternatives. For example, if we're debating on whether we should choose uh, choice A or choice B, the only relevant information is what differs among them. If it doesn't differ among them, so in other words, it wouldn't matter if we chose A or B because this information would not change, that would not be relevant, and we would not include that in the decision-making process. So relevant costs are expected future costs. Relevant revenues are expected future revenues. And of course, these both of these things would also change and occur in the future. So two characteristics to make something relevant. On the flip side of that, we can talk about irrelevant costs, which of course do not occur in the future, and they will not differ among alternatives. So let's take a, a look at an illustration here uh, regarding relevance. So here we have two alternatives, and it has to deal with a reorganization of a business. So we have alternative one and alternative two. But notice that we have four columns of data here. The first two columns are all of our revenues and costs. The second two columns are just the relevant revenues and costs. So let's, let's take a look at the first two columns first. So alternative one is to not reorganize. And alternative two is to reorganize. So you can see in the first two columns, we're listing all our revenues and all our costs, whether, whether they change or don't change. Notice that revenues are going to stay the same under each alternative. They're not going to change. Direct materials are going to stay the same under both alternatives. Manufacturing labor is going to change. See, there's a difference in alternative one and two for manufacturing labor. Overhead won't change and marketing won't change. However, if we decide to reorganize, we're going to have reorganization cost. And we would not have those if we decide not to reorganize. Then we add up the total cost and then we get our operating income for a difference in operating income of $70,000 in favor of reorganizing. Because you can see the operating income would be higher under reorganizing than it is to not reorganize. But if you look over the last two columns, you can see we found the same information with inputting less data. So we're saving time. For example, again, look back up at revenues. Revenues do not change based on either alternative. So we just leave that out because that's not relevant information. It's not going to affect our decision. Same way with direct materials. They don't change, we leave them out of the decision process. However, manufacturing labor is relevant because those costs are different. So $480,000 would go to alternative two and $640,000 would be assigned to alternative one. Manufacturing overhead, we leave it blank because it does not change based on the alternative and marketing either. However, reorganization cost, we would have $90,000 in reorganization cost that we would not have if we didn't reorganize. So if we add up our cost, we can see that the total relevant cost for reorganizing is going to be $570,000 and the total cost to not reorganize is $640,000. For a total difference between alternatives of $70,000. So we're getting the same differential as we did by listing all the information as opposed to only the relevant information. Now that being said, if management comes to you as uh, the cost accountant and wants you to uh, create this uh, decision-making tool for them, they may ask you, look, I want all the information. 
So you may need to supply the first two columns of information because they want to see everything. However, in some cases, they just want a decision. So to save time and money, you would only consider the relevant information. Thank you for watching my video. I would encourage you to visit my website at www.accountinged.tk. Here you can find current accounting and business news, accounting business and education blog, my accounting lecture documents, uh, access to all of my e-lectures as well as the accompanying e-assignments, and a bookstore where you can find great deals on books as well as textbooks.